first Gartner Symposium of the 2015 series. Algorithmic business is here. Can you calculate the value of the relationships with three billion people with smartphones? Can you calculate the value of access to 30 billion things? Can you calculate the value of trust in your digital relationships? Interconnections, relationships, and algorithms are defining the future of business. So how do these algorithms then accelerate value in this digital economy? The answer lies in what we call the economics of connections. And the economics of connections describe the creation of value through an increased density of interactions between the businesses, the people and the things. There's two elements here, this increased density and there's the creation of value. So what's holding you back? What are the inhibitors? As Peter said, control no longer scales. Inertia is holding you back. Legacy skills, limited funding, the inability to change, culture, expectations, all holding you back. Trust, or better, a lack of trust, may also be an inhibitor. Connections are useless without trust. Why? Because there can be no sharing when people fear what others would do with your products, your technology, and your data. Where trust is lacking, all connections need to be centralized and need to be controlled. There is no economics of connections. Now you may think the trust is a hard sell to the board. The trust is about sitting in a circle, close your eyes, kumbaya and trust or something like that. But trust matters in business. Calculate the value of your algorithms. Be an algorithmic business. May the algorithmic force be with you. Thank you. I'm taking a lot of things uh, from this event. I mean the information like the Internet of Things, digitization, Cloud computing is still repeated here. I think I'm taking that home with here. I think my takeaways from the Gartner Symposium this year is one is the algorithms. I think that's the, the new buzzword that's going around. And if I have to look at it, how you take away of it and how companies can use it is how previously it was focused all about automating processes. I think now it's about automating business rules and how do you use the business rules to make executive decisions in organizations. Yeah, a few things. It's the quality of content, I think, that probably struck me the most. You know, when you tend to go to these conferences, you tend to find that a lot of it is about sort of selling you on some concept or some idea. And what I find with the Gartner conferences, especially this one in particular, they were really open and willing to share a lot of valuable data in each of those presentations. There wasn't one that I walked away from where it wasn't valuable. It's a new wave and you need to climb on board, otherwise you're going to be left behind and like a dinosaur become extinct. We're dealing with a lot of legacy systems, and um, I think it will improve. It, it will improve our, our, our working environment a lot. We really need to move digital. There's no other way. I think if if I look at the symposium, it's my second time that I'm here, and I will definitely attend again. I think it's a must attend for any IT professional, and definitely for the executive team of any IT organisation.